welcome back now in this video we will create a login button right down in here and also right down in here we will create our text button for the sign up screen so let's go ahead and start working on that so below this align first we will create a login button so in here we will say rounded button that we created before so for now I'll remove that and in here comma take this down from here now we will provide the tags the tags gonna be as I told you already it's gonna be login it's gonna take the press event for now on we will complete the UI design I'll leave this empty and later on we will create some methods and we're gonna use that method then writing this press event for now we are just creating the UI design first and I have already hosted the app so there is no need of do it again I'll just simply press the control s and you guys will notice the login button okay there we go with the login button now we will create our tax button as I told you already for the sign up screen so whenever the user will click upon that it will just take the user right towards the sign up screen so it's gonna be right down in here so first we will go towards the widget and create a new dart file and we will give the name as already have and underscore count underscore check now in here we will have our strike list widget so write st and we are going to name this as already have and account check we're gonna remove this key and simply click in here import the library material dot dot first of all we're gonna create bool type login simply for login and we're gonna make this non-changeable so in here we will add the final keyword and below we are gonna create void callback and gonna name this as a press it will be simply just for the press event and void callback it's specifically used for callbacks with uh, no arguments and return no data so that's the working of it that's why in here we just have that as a press now let's have the constructor for that so I already have an account checked brushes curly brushes write it n semicolon take this down now we'll say this dot login and we're gonna simply just set this to true since it's a bool type and then say required this dot press all done the constructor now we will simply jump right in the widget build so we will remove that and return row widget in there first we will set some properties so the first one that we will set is going to be main axis alignment main axis alignment dot center there we go now in here we will have children and right in the children we will have a tax widget in here comma and take this down so in here we'll say if it's login then write in if simply we will say write in if do not have an account simply for the login screen okay if they're gonna be the login screen okay and we set this to true 
okay if it's login screen then write in if you will show that tax do not have an account and otherwise in else if this will not be the login screen then we will show another tax and it's going to be simply already have an account so I hope you guys get the idea now let me tell you one more time if this is going to be the login screen and you guys can see that right in here we set this to true so if there will be a login screen then we will simply show that text do not have an account and if there will be no login screen for example if there will be a sign up screen then we will show right on the sign up screen already have an account that text you guys will notice the output once we completed that now let's do some style for that as usual text style first we will set the color let's go with the color we will go with the black 54 let's have the font style for that so font style we will go with the italic one that is fine in here now you guys can see that add the const modifier so the yellow line will be gone then now below this text we will have a gesture detector write it and put comma and tag this down we are gonna have the on tag event right in here right in the gesture detector and we will provide the press that we created before why it called back you guys can see the suggestion and let's move further have a child in here now we have a tax widget in tax widget will say login there we go if that equal to true if there will be a login screen then write in if you will show a tax is going to be simply sign up okay like that and right on the other screen like for example for the sign up screen then we will show that tax sign in now let me tell you one more time so that you guys don't get confused in that if there will be a login screen then we will show that text okay right down in here you guys will notice the output whenever we will run the app you guys will see that and if there will be for example another screen not the login screen another screen let's say sign up screen then we will show that text writing else so I hope you can get the idea now. Now we will do some style for that. So as usual, you guys know text style. Let's set the color. So colors we will go with the black, just black this time. And let's set the font thread for that. You will go with the font thread dot bot. And also we will choose the font style for that so it will be kind of beautiful so we will go with the italic one put comma in here now in here add the const modifier so the your line will be gone there we go so we are done with the already have an account checked and we will use that now simply close that from here and we will go back towards the login screen directory and open that in here as you guys can see we are on the login body so let's have that in here we will say already have an account check at at n comma and take this down in here add library already have an account check dot dot there we go now we will provide some arguments that we created before and we will set the login to true because it's gonna be the login screen and also we will provide the press event and in there 
you will simply just navigate the user right toward the sign up screen so in here what I'll say navigate navigator dot push can take the contacts now we'll provide the root the root in the material page root and in here we will provide the contacts from here I'll tag this down so that you guys can see it easily in that we will just navigate the user right toward the sign up screen okay right at and semicolon and there we go so in here as you guys can notice that we set the login to true we will go towards the this dot file and now the login is true as you guys noticed before so if it's true then simply what we will do right in here as I explained this in detail before I'll tell you one more time so if the login is true then we will show that tax okay or don't have an account since the login there was true so it will run that that tax and right down in here in the just director the login will be true and it's gonna run that sign up so it will show that text only you guys will notice that just in a while now in here what I'll do I'll just hold to load the app from here and you guys will notice changes let's go to the login screen and boom there we go do not have an account sign up okay so first thing I'll do I'll create some hide between the login button and between that so it will be just a little down so right in here let's add the size box we're gonna give the height type object class dot height we're gonna simply take the 0.03 person of the screen and hit end comma now press the control s and you guys will notice there we go it's looking more good than before okay and also in here we will create a little space between the don't have an account and the sign up let's go to word the already have an account and we are having that text in here just give a little space from here and just press the control s and boom there we go there we go with a little space like that if you guys want more just do it like that and press the control s and there we go it's working totally fine back right in the login body okay dead dot dead dot file and now we will just press upon that text button sign up and it will take you to the sign up screen okay it's working totally fine right on the sign up screen we will work further but in the future videos we will create a beautiful UI design for the sign up screen for now the sign up screen is looking like that but right in the future we will create a beautiful combination of a linear gradient color and also it will be a beautiful UI design so for now you guys can see the sign up screen is like that and right in here you guys can also see the login button for now if you guys click on that login button it will do nothing because we just left the press even empty okay so right in the next videos we will create a method some kind of and we will just use that methods right in here right in the login the press even so it's gonna simply then login the user so basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see ya